Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take a position on something, anything, something you feel strongly about, and then I'm gonna argue against it, no matter what it is. Uh, give me a topic that you wanna argue about. I don't care, I'll argue against anything. Having everybody having healthcare is a good thing. But taking money from the rich to give to the poor is stealing. It's a mixture of socialism and capitalism, a mixed economy, which is what America has had for about 100 years. There is no God. You should accept that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is your Lord and personal Savior. Um, I do not believe we should have ever been in a war with Afghanistan. You know, killing innocent people and, you know, bombing houses with innocent people in churches. We even bombed a church with um, a lot of innocent people in there. And um, I, I, I disagree with that. Democracy is based on the free exchange of ideas. The marketplace theory goes that all ideas are delivered in a public forum. The best ideas are chosen by the people, leaving the rest to die of neglect. But theory and practice don't always agree. Um, in your professional and personal opinion, do you find that that's actually how it works, that the best ideas usually do float to the top? No. Um, oftentimes, you know, it's the best soundbite. Um, the best arguments frequently take time to actually explain. Well, if we withdraw all our troops out of Afghanistan, then it'll open it back up for the terrorists to to create a stronghold. That is true. I don't believe we should withdraw the, all the troops right now. That's why Obama hasn't, I believe. But um, I think we should withdraw all the troops right now because we're over there killing innocent people. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But they're in. They're in. The, they're in. The, they're in. The Did you notice the Bugs Bunny maneuver I pulled on James? It wasn't a complete 180, but just a little hardballing, and his concern for innocent people takes a back seat. It wasn't that difficult. School is 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 is, is informational. But learning in the real world, hands-on experience is more important than than book knowledge because then not only do you get to read the information but you get to experience it. I agree. Um, animal testing is wrong. No, we're testing it on them even though we don't know if it's going to have the same effects on us. And a, a mouse's immune system is not perfectly like a human's but it's close enough that if we test medicine on them that we can see how it'll work. Okay. I mean you have a good point. I'm not even sure if that's true. If it is, then she needs a better argument against animal testing. If it's not, she should have known it was bogus and not given in so easily. I used to work in sales, and uh, the place I used to work for um, used to have uh, fact, something called FUD, F-U-D. And F-U-D stands for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. You would plant fear, uncertainty, and doubt about not buying today, about the competition, about not having the product in general. Critical thinking is a skill that most people just don't have. A lot of students I talked to couldn't even defend deeply held beliefs. I didn't get anyone to really change their mind, but they couldn't even tell the difference between valid argument and trickery. Now, I put them on the spot, you know, they weren't really ready for it. But if we're going to continue to be a prosperous nation, a species, then we're going to have to use the brains that got us here.